All right, no turning back. I should probably make sure this is recording. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be unboxing the KitchenAid Tilt Head Stand Mixer. This is my first one I've ever purchased, so I'm super excited to have one, and I'm excited to open it um, and see what's inside. If anybody knows about the KitchenAid Stand Mixer, it is an investment kind of purchase, and so it's one of those things like I thought, Oh, I'm not gonna, I don't need it right now. I don't need it right now. I don't need it right now, but I've wanted it for so long. So I finally found it actually on sale at Target. Um, rarely goes on sale. So I was really excited to find it on sale and I purchased it right away because they sell out really quick. Also, they go out of stock all the time. So I decided to just go for it and buy it. Time to open it up. I think I'm so short and this is, uh, this is kind of a high table, so I'm going to open it like this way, and I think it's going to be easier to show you if we pull it out this way first. So I just have a box cutter here that I'm going to open it with. And let's see. Oh. Alright. So, it says an American brand since 1919. That's cool. That's really old. Cool. Um, I knew they were old, but, oh wow, what is this? Oh, this is like all the attachments that are with it. And you know, it's the upsell. It's all the cool bowls you can buy and all the attachments, which I'll definitely invest in some of those probably in the future. But this, this is like the user manual and I'm gonna pull it out now. You can kind of see the blue color. It's called um, Ice. I went with the blue because I didn't really want black or white. That was the only, like I could have gotten the black or the white one a little bit cheaper, but this was the first sale I had seen on one that wasn't black or white for a while. And that was the tilt head because I wanted the tilt head one. This is the four, what is it? 4.5 quarts. I'm looking at the back of the box and it's in a different language and I don't want to say the wrong thing. Yeah, 4.5 quart size. I wanted this size and I wanted the tilt head. And I had been watching it for like months and months and it hadn't gone on sale and it finally went on sale. So I decided to go ahead and splurge. All right, I'm gonna pull it out of the box. I apologize for any like styrofoam sounds because Maybe you're into the styrofoam sounds. Who knows? I would think that most people hate it though, because I hate it. Um, all right. That's how it works. Oh wow, this looks so nice. Pull this off. All right, this is these are the <laughs> no, the other way. All right, let me get rid of that. All right, so this is the dough hook attachment that comes with it. I'll link the exact one that I got below just so you can see if you're interested. And then um, this is the, what is this called? Just like the beater attachment, I believe. Um, take off this front. Ooh. <laughs> Why is this difficult? All right. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like, it reminds me of um, those cho Hershey chocolate Easter eggs things. Um, this is locked, I think this is the lid. Okay, so I'll show you guys the bowl. <laughs> All right. Okay, maybe I should lock it while it's up. Is that, oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't really lock when it's up. All right, like I said, I haven't really had much experience with this. So you're getting my like, for real, for real, first impression. This is the cord. It's not super long, which is probably safer. Um, this is online register. I guess this is for like the warranty or something. You can register your device or your mixer. That's interesting. Um, I don't know what this is for. Actually, oh, I think this is for attachments. Okay, and then the bowl just comes off like that. 
Um, I saw this girl, oh man, I didn't bring, I didn't bring a dime over. I saw this girl, she did like this whole test where this, there's a screw inside here. And there's like a way that you can know that your mixer is like aligned the right way. And you tighten that screw if it's not like, if the dime is not moving around a little bit in the bowl, then it's too high up. But I don't know, I believe it's with this attachment that you figure that out, not with this one. Um, and then if the, how do I get this thing off? Um, if the dime doesn't move at all, it's too high up, so you tighten it, basically. I don't know if I explained that well enough at all. I'm sure there's videos that you can, I'll actually link her video so that you could see um, how she explains, she explains it a little bit better than I just did. Do I press this? Oh, okay. So it has like, this little indent so you know you're like putting it on the right way. And this is really nice and heavy duty. Like these KitchenAids, um, I work at a store, I work in customer service and we never really get KitchenAid returns. Um, we get a lot of other appliances returned, but KitchenAids I've never seen returned. So I guess that kind of locks it in there. Yeah, it feels, I think that's okay. Yeah, and then you just, all right, and then the bowl kind of locks. This looks really close to the bottom of the thing. I think that that's probably aligned very well. Um, the bowl kind of locks in and out, and I think if you, oh geez, it's stuck. <laughs> if you get other bowls, they also lock. What did I do here? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's really stuck on there. Yeah, I think it is. I'm just trying to figure out how this thing like I gotta read this manual before I break something here because this is pretty, this is very expensive to be breaking. <laughs> I actually don't think it's gonna break. It's very sturdy. Like, super so maybe I was just not, I don't know if I locked it in a little bit too aggressively or what happened. Um, if you guys have one, let me know like tips and tricks that you guys use for these. It says right here on the bottom. 4.5 quarts. Um, it says on the box, I think you can make like a certain amount of cookies. It says makes up to eight dozen cookies. That's a lot. Let me turn it around, show you the other side of it. It's very heavy. Okay, so you can see the other side. It's such a nice blue color. I think it's very versatile. I also think that this blue um, complements a lot of other colors. So that's another reason I went with the blue. I already have some other kitchen stuff that kind of matches this color and I just thought it would look really nice. And like I said, I didn't want a black or a white one. I just thought, I don't know, black and white go in and out of style a lot more then like this color could complement like a very neutral palette, um, different types of neutral palettes, I thought. Hopefully I don't regret that anytime soon because like I said, this is an investment. I, I look at this as something that like I'll have for years and years and years. So that's why the color is kind of important. It's kind of a harder choice. And this was one of the ones that I could get pretty easily on that sale. The other color I think was red or black. And I just, I don't want red. Um, so I went with this blue. Anyways, so I'm gonna plug this in. I gotta cut this little lash thingy off. Plug it in and I'll just show you how it works. Just a little bit. Um, I don't know much about these. Well, I mean, common sense. I know how to use it to some extent, but like I, I'm not able to share any tips and tricks. Maybe I'll do like a follow-up video in a few months after I use it a lot and just follow up on anything that I feel like would be interesting to share or maybe I won't follow up because they won't be any there won't be anything interesting you'll definitely see it in all kinds of videos though coming up because I will definitely be using this a lot <laughs> which is why I bought it because it's worth it for me I cook a lot 
Um, and I really wanna get into baking bread, so I'm very excited to have it, even, especially for that. Um, because this is the dough hook, so it like needs the bread for you. And that was like something that I, my old mixer, I mean, it could barely do cookie dough. It's just like, I don't even know what brand it is, um, but it was a very affordable one that I had and I've used it a lot, but it really doesn't do, it, it just like doesn't have a strong capacity. Uh, so this one is so much more heavy duty and I'm so excited to have it. Let me show you how it works. So this is the main attachment you would use for most things. Um, and these are all the speeds. So it goes from, ooh, I see it here. Um, it goes from zero, which is on right now, and then it says stir, and then it goes all the way up to 10. Um, it says ultra, what does it say? Ultra power plus. And I'm just gonna turn it on, make sure everything looks good. No go really fast. Obviously, I have tons more playing around with this to go before I like learn it fully and I'm able to explain it better, obviously. video I'm gonna wash this out and use this for the first time I'm very excited the recipe I'm sharing is going to be some red velvet cream cheese cupcakes that are amazing um, one of my favorite recipes I've ever made and I am so excited to be able to have this and use it for that and I will show you guys how this works in that video I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's kind of different than my usual stuff which is more um, trying out new recipes and tasting new foods and sharing my favorite recipes with you guys. I'm sure you will be seeing this KitchenAid in tons and tons of videos coming up. So I look forward to using it and I hope you look forward to some of my videos and subscribe to keep watching and like this video if you liked it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. And then just for yeah, those of you who like a good